Today I'm gonna go over some of the legendary weapons inside Outriders and we're gonna start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. Warning, this video contains spoilers that are not shown in the Outriders demo. So, if you don't want spoilers, please leave this video now. You have five seconds. You have been warned. Before we actually get into the video, I just want to let everybody know that we currently have a giveaway for three, I'll say it again, three full versions of Outriders, and it will be the digital versions, of course. And details for the giveaway will be towards the end of the video. So, as of this video, there are 46 legendary weapons inside Outriders. Now, yes. Even though the demo is the only thing that has been released, this has still been confirmed by the devs, and you can also see this inside the demo. I'll be going over 15 of those legendary weapons in alphabetical order, the type of weapon that it is, as well as going over the tier 3 mod that comes with this weapon. Now, I'm only going over the tier 3 mod because the other mod slot can come randomized. And I will not be going over the variant of the weapon as well as the stats, due to these numbers being able to be changed if you change the variant. This video will be part one of three, and real quick, any weapon that has the word THE in the title will be with a tease. So, let's go ahead and get started with the first legendary weapon, which is the Absolute Zero, and we will end this video with the Golem's Limb. So, Absolute Zero is a legendary assault rifle. Tier 3 mod on this is Ultimate Freezing Bullets, which Shots inflict freeze on enemies. Then we have Eerie Master, which is a legendary pump action shotgun. Tier 3 mod on this is Weightlessness, which shots inflict time rift on enemies. Time rift raises the enemies into the air for five seconds. Next, we have the Amber Vault. This is a legendary double gun. Tier 3 mod on this is called Killing Spree, which killing shots increase damage by 30% for this weapon for 30 seconds. Bonus deteriorates with time and stacks up to five kills. Then we have Anomaly Effigy, and I hope I pronounced that correctly. This is a legendary pump action shotgun. Tier three mod on this is Concentration Blast, which killing shots cause enemies to explode, dealing X amount of damage multiplied by the maximum number of X amount of enemies within a five meter radius around the original target. Next, we have Blight Bearer. This is a legendary rifle. Tier three mod on this is called Burst of Decay, which critical shots cause explosions that inflict toxic on enemies within a five meter radius. Then we have Body Snatcher. This is a legendary pump action shotgun. Tier three mod on this is called Body Snatcher. Go figure which killing shots teleport another enemy to the place where the previous one died. Works within a 25 meter radius of the target. Next we have Bolt and Thunder. This is legendary pistols, so you will be able to dual wield these. Tier three mod on this is called Strings of Gauss, which shots link up to enemies in a five meter radius of the target and deal X amount electric damage to each of them. Cooldown of two seconds. Then we have Damascus Offering. This is a legendary light machine gun. Tier three mod on this is called Claymore Turret, which shots damage four enemies within a three meter radius with anomaly blades dealing X amount of damage. Then we have Darkness Charmer. This is a legendary pump action shotgun. Tier three mod on this is called Grand Opening, which landing a hit with the first bullet in the magazine creates a powerful explosion dealing X amount of damage in a five meter radius. Next, we have Death Shield. This is a legendary automatic shotgun. Tier three perk on this is called Fortress, which you receive up to 43% damage bonus based on your armor. Then we have Disintegrator. This is a legendary revolver. Tier three mod on this is called Strings of Gauze, which shots link up to five enemies in a five meter radius of the target and deal X amount electric damage to each of them. Cooldown of two seconds. Then we have Enoch's Blessing. This is a legendary pump action shotgun. Tier three mod on this is called Life and Death, which killing shots create a blast that restores 
33% of health to players. Then we have Fatal Symbion. This is a legendary submachine gun. Tier 3 mod on this is called Dark Sacrifice, which during combat, your weapon drains up to 50% of your maximum health in exchange for 75% weapon damage bonus. Next, we have Funeral Pyre. This is a legendary automatic shotgun, which shots call down a comet, dealing X amount of damage to enemies within a 3.5 meter radius. And last but not least, we have Golem's Lens. This is a legendary pump action shotgun. Tier 3 mod on this is called Golem Rising, which killing shots grant you a protective golem effect for 3 seconds. Now, as you can tell by looking at some of these weapons, a couple of them actually have the same tier 3 mods on them. It's possible that these weapons are from an earlier build of the game, or they could exactly just have those very same mods that come with the weapon. We won't actually know until the full version of the game. What I do want you guys to do is stay tuned for part 2 because that video will be released tomorrow. So, you made it this far in the video and you want to know the details of the Outriders giveaway. Well, it's very simple. All you have to do is follow me on Twitter and put your platform of choice in the hashtag giveaway section of the Everything Outriders Discord. That is all. You don't even have to subscribe to my channel in order to participate in this giveaway. But if you did subscribe, the support is greatly appreciated. The giveaway will go from March 17th, 2021 to March 31st, 2021 at 6 p.m. EST. A link to my Twitter and the Discord will be in the description box below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.